All right, we're back and talking the day before. Because the past few days have been dropping bombshell after bombshell, and today is no exception, as the community is airing the receipts and Fantastic is silent. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I'm finally starting to feel marginally better and just in time because despite the player counts dwindling, the heat and pushback against this game is still red hot. In case you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are of course greatly appreciated. Let's get this one rolling. Okay, so there seems to be two lines of discussion currently spearheading this fantastical beatdown, with the first centered on the missing features that were shown in many of the previous trailers, versus what the actual game launched with. Now, besides this blatant and still fantastic not admitting to genre swap from an MMO zombie survival over to a poorly executed extraction shooter, the community has been hard at work sifting back through these old day before trailers and taking notes. Now, of course, Fantastic is not assisting in this effort, as they had previously deleted all their older trailers from their YouTube channel during the trademark dispute, but despite winning that effort to reclaim the name, never reposted those trailers. Even the media kit, which used to house all of their old artwork and videos on the official Day Before website, has been completely deleted. Now just returning a message of, this folder is empty. Luckily, outlets like IGN and GameSpot still have their trailers live, and since I thought this might happen months ago, I actually recorded and saved all their old footage, just in case. Community member Fast has been all over these discrepancies and posted them item by item, showing exactly what they showed us and what is now missing, flying directly in the face of an argument that I've seen posted that Fantastic has never lied. They delivered exactly everything they had showed us in these previous trailers, which, as I'm about to show you, they did not. There's no dynamic weather in the game, no immersive radio announcements, no proximity chat, no VoIP, no physics simulations, there's no debris flying around, and for that matter, there's no throwable explosives. You can't rush through a door without holding down F. Zombies definitely don't get staggered by taking point-blank shots. There's no zombie hordes, although I've heard this is being adjusted. There's no functional elevators, because why would you have those for single-floor buildings? And there is absolutely no crafting on the go, which is a feature I was really looking forward to. Okay, so how about items like setting up a little camp in a city apartment? Nah. Reticle spread? Nope. Animated finishers? Or how about a drivable LAV? None of that's in the game. And it keeps on going. Off-road driving and how the mud slows down your vehicle and it's displaced by the tires of our vehicles. Binoculars? are definitely not in the game. Zombies being attracted to the sounds of our weapons. Vaulting over objects, climbing into higher objects, both essential, both not in the game. How about turning on breakers, repairing our vehicles with a self-crafted kit, destruction physics, alarm system mini games. How about a damn reload indicator? No to all of that. How about whatever this armory workbench animation they showed us in a previous trailer? Something I mentioned in a previous upload, RTX and the absence of ray traced shadows and reflections, dismemberment when shooting at zombies, and then something not shown in any of these trailers, but back when Fantastic posted a development vlog for the day before, Melee, which was clearly present in this early stylized version of the game, if this footage is to be believed. Also, how about hit markers? Seen here back in a previous trailer, now it's a guess if your bullets are connecting with your targets. And we need to circle back to it again. A zombie survival game where you cannot vault, climb, or melee is just insane to me. Okay, so moving on to this second line of discourse, and it completely centers on the day before being nothing more than a cash grab asset flip. 
And just so you know, I personally don't have a problem with games that are built on pre-built assets. There's some real positives to using these, but when your entire game is centered on using these assets, and on top of that, there's no structure or interesting core gameplay loop to speak of, then you run into a serious problem, i.e. the day before. Now, based on another list, also created by community member Fast, they've gone in and found pretty much every Unreal Engine 5 asset that Fantastic has used, cataloged it, and even listed out the price. And just so you know, once you add in the entire city pack, which they use as the background for New Fortune City, which is $300, the grand total is just under 4,500 USD to buy your very own day before. Now, of course, there's some guesswork here in the assets, perhaps some are left out, but it would be fair to say that the entire asset portion of the day before could be held to under 5,000 USD. And then it just comes down to an individual or a team willing to assemble it for you. Also, an interesting follow-up right now is this The Crimson Dev over on Twitter who is actually assembling a day before parody and already on day 35 has much better zombie physics and a functional melee system as well. As with all the sources shown in today's video, you can check in the video description for links to each so you can have a look for yourself. Now, one statement that Fantastic has made consistently is that the day before has been in development for five years or that it has taken five years of blood, sweat and tears to make this game. But as the breakdowns show, many of these asset packs used did not exist except for maybe about a year ago. Now, I can't exactly say if Fantastic is including that previously highly stylized version of the day before in their five years of development claim, or if it's just the current version, in which case they would be caught again lying. Now, as one of my friends who works in game development recently told me, using store-bought assets and mechanics, you can make a game that looks like it's 80% of a real AAA game, but in actuality, you've done that initial 10% of the work and it's really far from reality, which feels like an accurate description for the day before. And as expected, Fantastic is doing their absolute best to cover their tracks. They've removed all the previous trailers from their YouTube channel and from their official website media kit, but that's not all. Fast Steam Post, which was garnering huge attention, has also been removed from the forums because of course it was. And we know that last week, the day before official Discord was on full lockdown. No new members and no post from anyone, which doesn't sound like the actions of a company that is confident in their product. And while I was recording this video, we got this new piece of information just completely out of left field over on Reddit. And I cannot verify any of this. So maybe eventually we will be able to take this as gospel. But for right now, take it with a pinch of salt. So according to this, what looks like internal document from one of the brothers at Fantastic. So this is one of the co-founders. The day before sold 201 plus thousand copies with just over 91 and a half thousand of them leading to a refund. So that's roughly 50%. And honestly, I'm a bit surprised it was that low considering the state of the game. And then it goes into a breakdown. 109,382,000 ,000 copies sold, 19% positive rating, and then the shit hits the fan. Quote, the game failed financially and did not pay off. The result is even worse than that of Prop Night, Plus, it is necessary to maintain Netrato servers, an annual contract of $1 million. Oh, okay. Well, that explains the crappy servers and the huge lag spikes. They used Netrato. Also, on day two, they no longer joined global top sellers. And to date, I guess the brother was trying to say as of today, there are zero sales. And the hits just keep coming for Fantastic. While my video was almost into post-production, we got the announcement that I think that we all were expecting. This comes directly from Fantastic over on Twitter. It says, today we announced the closure of Fantastic Studio. Unfortunately, the day before has failed financially and we lack the funds to continue. All income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners. 
We invested all of our efforts, resources, and man hours into the development of the day before, which was our first huge game. We've heard them say that before. We really wanted to release new patches to reveal the full potential of the game, but unfortunately, we don't have the funding to continue the work. It's important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. There was no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns. We worked tirelessly for five years, poured our blood, sweat, and tears into the game. There they are again with that five years and the blood, sweat, and tears. At the moment, the future of the day before and prop night is unknown, but the servers will remain operational. We apologize if we didn't meet your expectations. We did everything within our power, but unfortunately, we miscalculated. You're damn right you miscalculated our capabilities. Uh, creating games is an incredibly challenging endeavor. We're grateful to everyone who supported us during these difficult years. It's been a fantastic journey over the past eight years. And they have the dates, opening of the studio, release of the Wild 8, Dead Dozen, Radiant 1, Prop Night, and The Day Before. Well, I gotta say, not a surprise, but a surprise. Now, as more information becomes available, expect a full follow-up report. Leave me any feedback you may have, and I will do my best to respond. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are, of course, greatly appreciated. All my socials can be found in the video description. Shout out to the nearly 184,000 of you that have stuck with me and hit subscribe. And a special thanks goes out to my Patreon supporters. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.